you never give up on family. You just go through whatever you're going through at the time and you come back together. And the people in this church have proven to me that that's, that can be done. Whatever maturity level I have in Christ, it's because of people that have walked through these doors and are in this classroom. Whatever patience can be minimal. <laughs> Whatever understanding of service that I have, Whatever understanding of friendship that I have or perseverance has all come from the people in this room and everyone I've met in the last 25 years in this church. And that is not an overstatement. That is the absolute truth. I think the Lord put you in a place for a reason and for a season. And clearly what I found here was what I needed to get to this point in life. And so, you know, I know we'll be back and forth a lot. I plan on seeing all of you again. Um, but distance does change things a little bit. So it won't be exactly the same. But always know that, and I know I speak for Marvin when I say this too, that you will always hold a very special place in our hearts, um, particularly for me, because I don't think I would be the person I am or the Christian that I am without the help of all of you, either by example or by word. So for that, I am eternally grateful, and we'll always keep you in our prayers. So thank you again. You've all been extremely kind and sweet. It's been a pleasure to be here with you and to have fun with you wherever we've been, whether it's in Pennsylvania or Philadelphia or just here on Sunday morning. So thank you again. <coughs> Enjoy your talk.